What's happened? Your dad knows, but he's sorting it. Sorting it? What do you mean he's sorting it? It's out of our hands now. Well, well, well. Romeo and Juliet, back together. Sweet. She's too ill for this. Anything you have to say. It was meant for you. He'd have died for you, Debs. He must have it real bad. Debbie has more than paid for her part in this. I need to speak to Debbie. Please just give us some time. That acid was meant for him, and now you're all over him again. I love him. I'm sorry. The acid wasn't meant for anyone, Ross. This wasn't even supposed to be you. I wanted Joe to get beat up for what he'd done to me for ruining my life. I was going out of my mind. <sighs> I never wanted acid involved. All right, please, just ring the police, and I promise you I will not mention the gun. You go down, you lose everything. Right. Well, you already have. Please, I can't live like this. Just do it. I don't want to get it over with. You lied to me! And you kept on lying. If it wasn't for you being shot, I never would have found out the truth. <laughs> you would, because I can't live like this. I couldn't have lived like this. Oh, you say that now because you nearly died yesterday. I die every day when I wake up in pain, when I don't see myself in the mirror anymore. I thought that we had something, Debs. I thought that we were friends. But you betrayed me. So I want you to suffer every day. When you see me in the shops, when you see me in the pub with my ruined face, I want you to remember what you did. <laughs> because you don't think that I do already. <sighs> Please, Ross, what can I do? Just tell me what I can do. From now on, you were dead to me.